breaking right now at 11. Two former DCFS caseworkers are in a McHenry County courtroom waiting to learn their fates. Here's a live look from inside a Woodstock courtroom. The two former workers are facing charges in connection with the death of five-year-old AJ Friend who was murdered by his parents in 2019. Prosecutors say the workers ignored red flags that the boy was in danger. Closing arguments began at 930 this morning and a ruling is expected this afternoon. In the last hour or so, we've heard prosecutors highlight the evidence presented and the charges. As CBS 2's Darius Johnson tells us, they opened by pulling at the heartstrings of the courtroom by stating tomorrow would have been AJ's 10th birthday. The truth is that this has to be one of the most predictable, one of the most foreseeable, but one of the most preventable cases in DCFS history. Carlos Acosta and Andrew Palovin are charged with endangering the life of a child in reckless conduct. Prosecutors say the two ignored red flags when it comes to five-year-old A.J. Friend. A.J. was reported missing from his Crystal Lake home in April 2019. His body was found a week later in a shallow grave. His parents were convicted on murder charges. Police reports and DCFS records indicate a history of problems at the family's home. During the trial, an ER doctor and an officer who witnessed bruises on AJ took the stand. In both instances, the cases were closed and the bruises were attributed to the family dog. Not too long ago, the prosecution discussed how the two can't be charged with both crimes. Judge Illinois case law, especially recent case law, is clear that these defendants can't be found guilty of both of these offenses. They cannot be found guilty of both reckless and endangering. While we believe that the evidence supports both, we'd be asking this court to choose one. Did the entire system fail this child? Obviously, in hindsight, we now know that it did. But assigning criminal responsibility for that failing to these two defendants only is unreasonable and terrible scapegoating. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2 News. The charge of reckless conduct is punishable by one to three years in prison, endangering the life of a child two to five years. We have a crew in the courtroom following what happened so we can keep you updated.